What's up friends, Chuck here, and welcome back to KOTOR 2. Alright, so at the end of the last episode, uh, we had a bug where we couldn't move after combat. Apparently that's quite a common thing, um, and yeah, like I've said, old games not optimised uh, amazingly on the PC and blah 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 blah. Either way, the work around it is all to do with the frame rate. Um, so people are just like, put on V-Sync, which it limits to um, 60 FPS, and you're good to go. I did that, um, but as soon as I started recording, it was choppy as hell. So I've uh, downloaded a third party software to limit my um, frames to 60 frames, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, that will fix it. So let's continue and see if we have any issues. Nothing here. There's a broken droid. Okay, let's talk to him. Or we'll get stuff from him. The droid deflector mark one. Yes. There is a emergency hatch or a door. Let's go emergency. Emergency, emergency is hatch. Exit, but it is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. Is that so? Uh, ah. Kira? Korea? Whatever. There is only silence. All right. It is odd that emergency hatch has opened, considering the circumstances. There will be a way to open it if you could find an access terminal. Alright. Guess we're going this way. Security desk. And some lockers. And a corpse. Okay, security tunnel. Perfect. Uh, oh. Okay, there was some screen tearing there. <laughs> uh, we can bash this open. And... Stunk. There we go. Broken item and ion grenades. Okay, sure. And that's all that we've got from here. Security door, a desk, sorry. Check security records. Let's do it. Oh wow, this is a lot of stuff. Uh, administration console maintenance. Let's do that. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. Good call. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. All right. Return to main console functions. Uh, access remote camera controls. Main security office. That's us. Press enter. Okay, never mind. Uh, security storage room. Okay, there's some droids. Uh, press enter to cancel. Okay, communications blister. Holding cells. Hey, there's a guy. <clears throat> uh, emergency hatch. That's just where we were. Let's log out. Okay, let's go through here. Oh. Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. So some droids. Kreia, what? Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see, and instead reach out with your perception. Oh, okay. So it's the triple droid that we saw oh, before. You can feel them. The droids you <clears> cannot <throat> perceive, but the small oscillations of energy that you can feel echoing outwards. With Kray's help, you have gained uh, the passive precognition power. When this power is triggered, you should save your game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, well, this has been triggered, so let's save our game, right? Uh, F9 is quick save. We've done it. All right, here we go. All right, we've got three droids, which we knew was going to happen. We could iron grenade. Do we, do we want to do that? Fuck it, let's just throw a grenade at him. See if that works. Ah, you hear it. It is faint, but it is there. What, the grenade blowing up? Because you think you would hear that. Uh... What's happening? I feel strange like the set it is wearing off. This is something wrong with me. Uh, just what's happening? It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. It was a grenade. 
But it doesn't feel like I did. It did. It feels like it's coming from across a great distance. It's like sound, but it's been almost a decade I had forgotten. I don't want this. No, not ever again. Okay. No, we don't want that. Uh, let's just do this. But it, uh, but it's, it doesn't feel like it did. It feels like it's coming from across a great distance. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Okay, gaining experience will slowly re-establish your connection to the Force. Go to the level up- Oh, okay. So we leveled up by killing the droids and that's what sparked this. Fair enough. Uh, go to the level up screen and choose your Force abilities. <laughs> just one shot him. Nice. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, and we've got the level up thing here. So let's just clear this room out first. Come on, guy. Don't do fancy attacks. Just hit the freaking thing. There we go. Broken item and two more iron grenades. Okay, so iron grenades, uh, I think, must be really good against drones. I'm, I'm pretty sure iron is um, good against mechanical stuff. Okay, that was a clear miss. There we go. Good job. Two more and a med, uh, two med packs and a stealth field generator. Okay. Let's level up. You can auto level up or you can manually level up. We'll, we'll probably do manual. Um, we may auto level up our companions, just otherwise it's going to take forever. Um, we'll see. We'll see what, who we get and, and stuff, but we'll level up manually for now. Skills. Uh, so we wanted to max out computer use, awareness, persuasion, and I think later down the line we want to do repair as well. So for now, let's just go with this. I'm, maybe we'll just get one in everything. And then that way, like, we have one in everything. And then, like, it, we have a, even a small chance of it, the roll being good. Um, dice roll, I mean. All right, sure. Let's do that. Feats. Uh, you have been granted the following feats this level. Force sensitive and unarmed specialist. Well, we're not going to be an unarmed Jedi. That's stupid. Force sensitive. Don't know what that does, but sure. Uh, can we get any of this? Level four. No. Okay. Can we get more toughness? No. What is this? Let's, where's the force perception? Cause I want to see what that's about. Force sensitive, sorry. Uh, Jedi training affects each Padawan uniquely, allowing them to grow in ability while addressing personal force. On rare occasions, however, exceptional individuals open doors to strength they did not know they had. This feat represents a heightened connection to the force previously unseen in a newly uh, trained Jedi. This feat grants 40 additional force points to the character's base total. Shit, yes. All right, what is this? Dueling, one-handed weapons. Nah, we'll go two-handed. Let's get repair. This uh, feat gives a character advanced training with repairing broken tech. This repair skill, no longer considered cross-class, can be purchased for one skill point in the- Yes. Done. Powers. Oh shit, we're doing it. We got our first power. Uh, what do we want to get? What's it say recommended? Stun droid. Don't know about that. Let's just take that off. Uh, what are we- well, I mean, that might be useful. Is the heal? No, it's too light side. Force aura, burst of speed. I really should have looked into this. <laughs> um, but it's fine. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. Force body, revive. I mean, stun droid might not actually be that- be that bad. Effect mine could be good. Effect mine is, uh, enables persuasive use of the force. Once a Jedi has this power, extra options will be available in compensations as appropriate. Success is not guaranteed for extreme commands or if the target is strong-willed. This power does not affect droids. Only the main player can do it. Okay. Shock. Restricted by... Why can't we get this? Oh, we can. Do we want shock? Suffers one to six points of damage. A successful will... Okay, well, we are going to be, like, more melee-focused, right? So maybe this, the, the, the stun droid is not the worst. Where is it? Here. Let's read it. This power can be s send uh, a surge of energy through the processor of a droid, rendering them immobile for 12 seconds. The droid also takes damage equivalent to the attacker's character's level. A successful fortitude save... Da -da -da -da. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get this. This is fine. It'll be useful. And accept. We've done it. All right, we also got some... Um, we got some gear, I believe. We got like a stealth. There it is. Stealth field generator. This device enables stealth mode, a camouflage field that hides the user. 
Opponents must make an awareness check. Sure. Let's put that on. And you're still still going on that. Good job. Alright. Moving on. Hey buddy. Stun droid. Okay, left-click the mouse to activate hostile force powers selected in the second icon of the target menu. Yep. Some force powers affect only single target, others affect enemies in range. Yep, we know that. So stun this bitch. And then we can uh no. Stun. Safe. Oh, we suck apparently. We don't have any force power left. This is our health and this is our force. Down here. Uh, so, yeah, we are melee focused. Um, our force is probably isn't going to be amazing. But as soon as we get a lightsaber, it's, uh, it's going to be fine. So maybe we will go into, like, shock and stuff, but that was just unfortunate that, um, we didn't get either of those stuns off. Smack. I can just one-shotting everything. A beast. Smack. Okay. All right, we're moving. I think we fixed that bug. Uh, you're gonna have to let me know though if uh, there's a bit of screen tearing or if it's laggy or if there's any like if it's unwatchable, uh, and then I can try and fix that up. But if it's um if it's currently all right, then we'll stick with it because yeah, look, if you just Google. Uh, KOTOR 2 PC, like, issues, there's an abundance of them, so, I've gotten it to a point where, at least it seems it's okay, so if, it, if we can deal with this, we'll, we'll be alright. Got another med pack, nice. Force speed might not be a bad option either, so we can just like, dip, zip around more. Another med pack. Okay, we got the administration computer. Let's check what else is around here, because there's quite a few different doors and whatnot. There was like this ramp up here. There's that door there. There was that guy in the force field, so we can go and um talk to him, save him. Okay, let's see if we can stun him again. Save him or kill him. Save. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, we one-shot them anyway. I just want it to work once. It'll come in handy. It want, it'll save that life once, and it'll be worth it. Components. Doesn't appear to be anything else in here. Oh, wait. You can use the... What? You can use the mouse to select eligible targets. While in combat, only hostiles will be targeted. Oh, I pressed Q by accident, and it... Showed... Ah, oh, that's nice. I pressed Q by accident and it showed me what I could um, interact with in that room. That's handy actually, that's really handy. So if you miss something, um, I just gotta get in the habit of pressing Q when I go into rooms now. Emergency blast door, why would you wanna open Emergency that again? Don't fast. even, the game shouldn't let you. <laughs> or it should, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, something's going on there. Okay, let's, here we go. Beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. All right. <laughs> Scratching his head. But you have nothing to fear from this one, and he might yet prove useful. We'll see about that. Let's go and have a chat. Nice outfit. <laughs> what you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Uh, it's amazing. I was gonna say, what's he gonna say something about us just walking around in our like pajamas? Who are you? You got a name or just a big man? Oh, we gotta be a dick, right? Care to explain why you're locked up? What is this place? The facility's deserted. I don't have time for this. Tell me what happened. To All right, you got a name or just a big man? Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Mm. I don't have time for this. Tell me what happened here now. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, 
Some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, there's a bounty on the Captured Jedi. Why? Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. What happened to them? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows? Mm. The stories I heard were of the Sith, not the Jedi. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Um, I've been away. Just tell me what happened next. What happened between Revan and Malak? I couldn't care less about Revan's fate. I've had enough, let me ask something else. Mm, just tell me what happened next. Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. The rumors I heard Revan defeated Malak, then went to Korriban to unite the Sith against the Republic. Well, that was the story. But whatever happened there must not have lasted. Ah, oh, there was some big civil war on Korriban. Knocked that academy to the ground. Looks like Revan's Grand Crusade finally consumed her. How long have you been in that cage? Revan was a man, not a woman. I'm not surprised Revan lived for battle. She could not easily turn away from a war. Okay. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hope Revan was a woman. So if you have played or, or seen the first game of this series, um, you'll know a lot more about what this is about. If you haven't, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but the first game is all about Revan, basically. Uh, I have some more questions for you. This discussion about Revan is pointless. I need to know what happened here. Enough history. Let me ask you something else. Uh, I need to know what happened. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation <laughs> isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. I like You're this that guy. Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? <clears throat> I don't know. This facility seems abandoned. Don't you know what happened to them? Stop playing dumb. You must have seen what took place. From my beautiful view in the security cage? Look. I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Persuade! This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. Okay, so he's like the Han Solo. All right, we've got an intimidate option, so we're going to do that. Uh, the miners in the med bay were murdered. No, why? Huh? What are you talking about? Okay, apparently not. Wanted to know if you knew anything, and you don't. Never mind, just checking. Nothing, I trust you. Let me get you out of that cage and we can work together to get rid of this mess. I'll switch off the cage, but if you try and run, I'll cut you down without a second thought. Yes. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. All right, buddy. Just stay ahead of me and don't make any sudden moves. Dark side points, dark side points, dark side points. All right, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. So it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Sandy. The thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure Pazak. The console's ours. Pazak. Now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! Pazak. That was that card game. What's wrong? Sounds like you're about to tell me something I don't want to hear. I need to sneeze. <coughs> 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 All right, we're done. If I any more bad news, I'm gonna get violent, yes. This system's been severed from the main hub after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system. It's been cut clean. Uh, did someone do it on purpose? Repair? That wouldn't be standard procedure in an emergency lockdown. Let's go with repair. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight and leave us here. Trapped. 
Yeah, it was that dude from the hollow before. Is there anything else we can do with this console? There must be a way to lock. Uh, anything else we can do with this console? I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. It's true. Let's see if we can try and reach someone on the con. Can we contact the miners? It's going to be the same thing in the. Can we contact the miners? We could try. But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you, why not call them and chat? I don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up. Um, maybe there's something logged in the terminal that can give us some answers. Cut the back talk and let me check the console. Maybe there's something logged. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Okay, dark side points for being a jerk. Perfect. Let us go in here. Check administration logs, access... You know what? Let's go... Communications. Dormitories. Hangar Bay 25. Can you read me? Do diagnostics, then follow my instructions. Come on, buddy. we got to get you back. I need another route off this level now. We're trapped on the administration level. Can you unlock the turbo lifts? Um, there must be emergency hatches. Try to find one. I'd rather risk it than be trapped up here. Don't question my orders. Just follow them. Actually, cancel that last order. I'll call you back in the comments when I'm done up here. Uh... Gotta go to dick move, right? Don't question my orders, just follow them. <laughs> it's not a happy droid. Well, we did something! Okay, we're back in... Back in droid. Security. Components, sonic grenade. Nice. If we press Q see that we can open that and smack that door okay is it line of sight focused it is line of sight focused all right so it just doesn't show you everything it's if you can see something but that's all right uh let's open this here locker repair kit and components i can try and open this as well oh hello mining droid uh how about you Oh wow, you're a really bad shot, dude. Terrible shot. Can I move the camera? Nice. Down for the count. There's another one down there. Oh! He's on the run! We don't really have that many options as far as combat goes here. We've got shoot. Well, what is this? Droid shock arm. I wonder if that has. I wonder if that has uses to it. Droid neutral pacifier. Uses ten out of ten. Okay, and then this one. Uses unlimited. All right, so we can use the the droid shock arm unlimited. Let's do that next time we find a droid. All right. I feel like this might actually be the way to go. Heat shielding mark one, repair kit. Nice. Cause this seems like a really elaborate, like not the way to go. Okay. So we found, we found the lift. Let us go back and check those other doors. Because we want to get all the loot we can. And check the remains that we clearly missed. Alright, alright. Okay, low security door. Looking at it. Did we do something? Oh, there's the Ebon Hawk. And Janice, unfortunately. Okay. Don't turn around. Go back in here. Fuel Depot. 
This emergency blast door is magnetic sealed, no amount of security explosive will open it, you need to something. Alright. I'm tipping this is the same. Yep. Okay, let's go up. This way. What do we got? Another repair kit. It's not bad. Repair kit's basically just med pack, but for droids. Okay, hangar control. System damaged. Repair. Several parts have been removed from the console when a laser drill has been used on a number of subsystems. Uh, despite the sabotage, however, the console's basic functionalities were intended to be restored quickly by replacing missing parts. Sure, why not? Failure, you need some basic parts. Alright, well, we're off to find some parts. There's a droid there and there, I think, maybe. <laughs> this is the only other door we haven't been through yet. Someone has purposely welded the door shut, you need to blast it open with an explosive. Okay, can I do that as a droid? I don't know if I can do that as a droid. Uh, weapons? Usable? Misc? Grenade. Use. Okay. Well, we can't get through here. So, let's go all the way back down and go down into uh, this lift that we opened up before. Unless I can find some form of explosive. Because if I had whatever I, uh, I could use to open that door, it would have given me the option. <laughs> Components, nice. Anything else? Nope, just the door. Alright, so we can use this, uh, droid shock arm on this thing. Oh, it just one-shots them like crazy. Alright. A droid's a freaking beast, man. Droid Island Striker. Deadly Sonic Mine. There we go. Uh, Paragus Deplo uh, Depot Survey. Okay. Perch of fuel lines. Uh, it's good to how it just automatically opens that rather than having to go into infantry. That More games should do this. Uh, purchased a fuel lines and I found three sonic charges attached uh, inside. I checked the work logs and only the droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found the explosives, but can't seem to get a signal through. I've removed the remote detonators and I'll keep the explosives on me until I can fire and I put them in a secure hold in the hangar. Okay. Droid Ion Blast Mark 1 Components Parts. This wrecked droid contains a special droid based item that, when equipped, allows droids to perform special attacks against opponents. This destroyed droid contains an ion blaster, which is extremely effective against droids. Um, and energy shields. It only has a limited number of charges, after of which it will be destroyed, okay? And we have nothing. Let's actually go into our equip, because we've probably got. Yeah. This. We can always unequip if we use a, a, another droid later, but we probably. Um. Do double double lasers? Ho oh, oh, ho! Double lasers. Um, it's probably going to be a while till we get another droid. Thing. Okay, so that's it for down here. So that means that we now have the ability to uh, go and blow up that door, right? With the ion thingy, bajiggity. So we'll have to go in and change that. Actually, droid uh, droid ion striker. That's my guess. Let's find out. Okay, so that's the shield that they were referring to, no doubt. I mean, we got 10 uses of it or something, so we should be alright. Uh, droid Ion Striker, Droid Shocker. Okay, let's use this. Let's see what it does. Got rid of the shield. Very nice. 
So there's no point in actually moving around when you're fighting because uh, I said before, like moving won't influence your uh, like your dice rolls or whatever to hit or uh, evade or whatever. So it's just uh, like a you set your command and then you just watch what happens type thing. Okay, so we should be able to now. Oh no, now we can go through with the with the mines. Okay. Just making sure that this doesn't, still doesn't do anything. Okay. No, okay, fine. Perfect. <gasps> Friend! Destroyed, looks as if it suffered in, in oh, no! Irreparable damage, no. Droid flamethrower, holy shit. Neural band. Our droid's got the goods, man. <clears throat> Computer spike, chemicals, and credits. Okay, so we got some, ourselves some money. Components, repeating blast of carbine, adrenal stamina. Okay, so let's see if we can... Let's put a flamethrower on because that sounds fantastic. Repeating blast of carbine, we can't use. You cannot equip this item, you do not have the repeat. Okay, so we're going to have to unlock that as, as part of his talents or something. I want to repair this guy! But, friend! <laughs> Alright, well we've got parts now, I think it was, so we can probably go out and um, fix this terminal. Okay... Functioni functionality restored. Okay, access emergency control commands, access hangar logs, access remote camera controls. Hangar 25, there it is. Main cargo hold. There's that friend. Security cargo room. That's that friend again. Mm, return to main functions. Access hangar bay layout. <laughs> We've got three spikes, so we could do that. We don't really need to, though, because we're going to explore everywhere. Con system. Repair. Run diagnostics. Yes. Diagnostics running. Signal unit destroyed. Com systems from hangar. Inoperative. Okay. Uh, access community uh, emergency control commands logs oh not what I meant to do okay repair diagnostics running all emergency subsystems rerouted fuel deposit uh, depot sorry terminal uh, access to the Paragus Paragus Pegasus fucking pelican emergency subsystem has been rerouted to a fuel depot computer terminal and the connecting circuits have been burned out with a mining laser, preventing remote access. The damage cannot be repaired. You'll need to find the fuel dep depot terminal to activate the Pegasus Paragasus Paribaba emergency systems. Okay. Uh, check the status of emergency subsystems. Hangar base sealed. Fuel. Okay. So we can blast open door to open at hangar 5. Or we can... Let's do that. Well, let's do both, right? Uh, conduit removed? Alright, I think we may have wasted a thing there, but that's fine. Okay, mining droid thing. Oh, we, yeah. Let's flamethrower this bitch. Oh, wait, no! Flamethrower this bitch! Alright, just shoot this bitch. When, when you actually can. Okay, you get in there. Oh, no. Now flamethrower this guy. <laughs> oh damn! Flamethrower OP! How many uses does that have? That surely has uses. Okay, it's got nine left. Alright. Well, in a pinch, we know what we can use to burn an eight. Okay, broken droid. What do you got for me? Repair kit? Okay, we're, f we're basically full on health. Or full on whatever droid health is called. Uh, do we need to... I mean, we may as well not use any of this stuff. These things are like the chain, right? Oh, they just, they just die straight away anyway. Providing you can hit it, of course. Uh, so it might actually be more beneficial to us... To... Okay, let's just move. There we go. It might be more beneficial to us to not use... 
two lasers because we may not have uh where is our this this is what i'm looking for is it no where, where, where's our like feats skills feats let me go Last integration, this feat to draw special because it, it might be like a dual wielding like feat that we haven't opened yet. Doesn't doesn't seem to be though. Like um, you get more accuracy if you use one pistol until you like learn how to have accuracy with two pistols that type of thing. But at the moment, uh, you know it's not too difficult. So we'll stick with it. Is there anything down this little side dick bit? No, there is not. Alright. There's a force field here. What can we see? Can we move the mouse? The mouse? The camera? Not really. Okay, containment field. Open. This containment field blocks access to the field line below. Them. There seems to be no way to open it. Well, we'll see about that. There's a terminal here. Fuel control station. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the cameras. Fuel line sensor. Okay, there's a bomb there or something. Fuel line appears to be some sort of metal case lying inside the fuel pipe, but you can't make it out. Okay. Maintenance level. We've been there. Entrance uh, to droid maintenance area. Oh shit, okay. There's there's now a uh, there's now a um an alarm. Call up system log. Within the past day a series of explosions with the Peregasus mining I'm never gonna say that right. Mining facility uh, encountered, uh, enacted an emergency lockdown. Okay, call up emergency system schematics, open emergency hatch. Done. Return to controls. That'll do. I think we have been located. So is that stupid droid of yours going to come through or not? You're a dick! That stupid droid just died! Give him a little more time. It's not my droid, I don't know who he bought. He was our friend! Um, Give him a little more time. Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little better off in my... S hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. Yeah, shut up, buddy. It looks like it, but it's strange it didn't contact us on the comm, we'll see. Uh, I don't believe we're out of this yet. Oh, it's clearly a trap. Sure. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Turbo lifts are locked down manually, so I had him open the emergency hatch. We don't have a clear to learn how that's... <laughs> uh, wait, wait. No. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Call me an idiot. Maybe, but it's the only way out and it's better I risk my life than yours. No. A Jedi's life is sacrificed. Besides, someone's got to save your skins. No. If it's dangerous in those tunnels, then you're not, not me. Yes. Me? You're the <laughs> Jedi. If one of us has to go, then it's you. Guardians of peace and justice throughout the galaxy, last I heard. Oh, it's so much more fun being a dick. You're right. Uh, I'll take the risk. No sense in both of us risking our lives. The Jedi Code doesn't apply to fallen Jedi, so don't make me any angrier or there will be only one of us standing here. Forget it then, you coward. I'll find a way out of this mess and leave you on this rock to die. I mean, maybe... Th like, there's, there's multiple different party members and stuff you can get in this game. Maybe this is legitimately a way to just, like, not get this guy. <laughs> um... I kind of... I don't mind him, though, actually. Let's go forget it then, you coward. I'll try and find a way and, left and leave you. I'll take coward over stupid any day. I'll keep the comm link on just in case you need some help. Not that I'll come running, mind you. Okay, you received a comm link. Party members or other, uh, others may use it to contact you. Good to know. Dark side. Alright. We're done. We are done. Well, let's leave it there for uh, this episode. Man, it's already ramping up. I've forgotten a lot about this game but like yeah the gameplay and stuff is still and the story and stuff is great it's just the graphics aren't the best but uh hopefully you're enjoying it because i am uh, and uh we'll see how we go from here we'll probably do one more episode and i'll judge um on the um 
activity of likes and, and comments and, and views and stuff of like that, whether we continue. But like I said, hope you're enjoying it. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.